In this video, I want to go through the first 10 lines of, of section 124 of Plato, which you can, in which you can, as you can see from the heading, Socrates will break the hemlock. Before we begin, I hope you've had a chance to review the vocabulary, which has been posted in the formative. As I've said many times, and I will say once more, vocabulary mastery is the absolute key to, uh, to learning and to learning Greek and to be, be, being able to translate Greek um, effectively and efficiently. At this point, let us begin. Here we find that Crito, our subject, Akusas, having heard the he nodded to Pide in the dative to the slave, and this is a slave, Estoti, a perfect participle, um, uh, agreeing in, in the dative with, with, with Pide. So Crito, having heard these things, gave a nod or simply nodded to the slave, Estoti, standing placion, the adverb nearby. And we find out that the slave, the subject of a new clause introduced by Kai, and the slave, ex elphon, having gone out, he ekeken, he came back. And what was he doing? He was agon. He was leading. And who was he leading? Ton melanta, the one being about. We remember this funny Greek word, mello, which means to be about to do something. Here we have the present active participle accompanied by the definite article, turning it into a noun. So the slave, having gone out, Aiken came, or returned, came back, Agon, leading, the one being about, and Didonai, the infinitive of Didomi, the present active infinitive of Didomi. So he came back leading the one being about to give the poison, to pharmakon. And this, and now it gets slightly complicated, simply because of the two participles in succession, peranta and tetrimenon. And tetrimenon comes from the, the Greek verb tribo, which means ground. We saw that in our last section. What this means is he came back. He came, the the slave boy came back, leading the one being about to give the poison, and the one being about to give the poison is Ferranta, carrying, and what's he carrying? The pharmacon, which has been ground, having been ground. We can see we have a perfect and passive participle. So he is, so the one being about to give the poison, who was carrying the pharmacon, the drug, having been ground, to trim it on modifying pharmacon, Ferranta, as we saw, modifying ton melanta. He came back carrying the drug, having been ground, en kulike, in a kulix or in a cup. And Socrates, our subject of the next sentence, ho Socrates, idon, seeing, ton anthropon, seeing the man, said, o beltiste, o my good man, good sir, tikre poye, he asked him a question. What is it necessary to do? For, he says, you, meaning the one who is administering the, the poison, you, A, you are epistemon. You are knowledgeable. Tutone in the genitive. You are knowledgeable of these things or you are knowledgeable about these things. And then the man bringing the poison replies. He says, uden allo. Nothing else, he says, than, a meaning man, pionta, having drunk, the aorist active participle, having drunk, perienai, to walk around, to go around. And how long should Socrates walk around? Eos, until on genetai, there should be a baros, a heaviness. And poiskelesi soy in the legs, and then this dative of possession in the legs to you. So basically, the man says, 
All you have to do, Udinalo, nothing other, he says, than drinking to walk around until there should be a heaviness in the legs to you, until your legs feel heavy, and epeta, and then katakestai, to lie down. Kaihama and hama at the same time. He orexe, he stretched forth, he, he handed over, he reached forward with. Tain Kulika, the cup. And taking it from Lombano, Socrates, we have to understand, Efe said, Tileges, what are you saying? What do you mean? He then asked, Exestin, is it possible apospending to pour a libation or not? And unfortunately, the man bringing the poison said, Tribo men, we grind, Tosutan, so much, O Socrates, how much we know to be the measure to drink. So basically, the man said, the, the man bringing the poison says, Unfortunately, you can't apospending, you are not able to pour a libation, for we grind only as much emlock <laughs> as we think it is appropriate. To drink, they only grind the measure to drink the amount to be drunk. And Socrates says, Manthano, I understand, he said, but is it possible, exesti? But it is uh, not, excuse me, it's not a question, it's a statement. He says, It is possible, and cray, it is necessary, euchestai toisteos, to pray to the gods. And what would you pray to the gods? That, the tain metoikesin, the change of abode. Socrates doesn't view death as the end. He simply views it as a change of abode, the change of his house to be, uh, uh, the, to there from, uh, to, from here to there. So basically he's saying it's necessary and it's, it's fitting and proper to pray to the gods that the change of the boat of abode to there from here, that the shift from earth to heaven be you too play, be blessed. Um, and then he goes on to say, Ha ego yukomai, which things I pray. So I pray these things, kai uto genoito, and may it be. This, uh, this potential optative, and may it be thus. So I pray, and may that be the case, and may it be thus. Kai epon tauta, and having said these things, he drank. Ex epia. <coughs> we'll leave off there. I hope this video has been helpful. Obviously, we'll deal with any questions you have in class next time. Have a great afternoons.